Hello Sagittarius. Today I'm doing your reading. We're going to be doing your general, general uh, love and career. I've never done a star sign reading, like a particular star sign reading before. So if this resonates, please comment down below and let me know because this is very new to me. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Let it fly. I've got loads of pick a card readings that you can choose from. If not, then that's totally fine. Thank you so much for being here and let's get started with your reading. So Sagittarius, let's see what's going on in the overall energy of Sagittarius. First of all, the energy that I've suddenly picked up on is very bitty energy. It's kind of like boop, 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 boop. That's kind of like the energy. I feel like you're in lots of different places at the moment and I feel like I need to talk really fast. So it's kind of like boop, 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 flash, flash, flash. It's like all my energy is all over the place. Ah, help me. I don't know what to do. And it's also like you're juggling things as well. I feel like some of you might be new parents. Um, I'm feeling like kids are kind of coming up as well. Um, you could also be um, actually in a new relationship. And this could be kind of like thinking, oh God, I need to bounce out my relationship and my love life and my career. And it's like, ah, too many things. And okay. So we got the alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. Let's see what else you have. Helpful person, someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So I feel like there could be somebody to help you in this situation if you are feeling a bit scattered. I'm definitely getting scattered brain. Scattered brain is kind of what I'm getting. All of this is really positive though, so a lot of you are on the right track. I just feel like there's some, there is a part of you that needs this quiet time at the moment and yeah i feel like you guys actually need quiet time with somebody as well to just discuss how you feel this could be also discussing your feelings with somebody and how you actually feel about a certain person this could be love life this could be career i feel like with this scattered energy you could be feeling kind of overwhelmed there's some that is, i feel like it could be like an argument that's gone on or there's kind of like a disagreement and it's almost it's got you up in your head and there's something about this that makes me want to kind of crawl into a hole and just not come out so but just think there is positive expectations coming if you need that help then feel free to just kind of go out and get the help from somebody or consult google i don't really know <laughs> just if there's something that you're really struggling make sure to um take the time to be quiet be peaceful kind of um be peaceful yeah that wasn't really the word that i was saying but take one step at a time they're telling me because i feel like you're very scattered i know that sagittarius loves to get out there loves to kind of separate their energy in lots of different ways in a sense that they love to be extroverted and kind of get out there but the universe is telling me you need to pull that back just for this month because you have some things that are brewing but it just needs to just kind of settle for for now you just need to let it settle before it kind of picks the pace back up again but we have alchemy and everything you touch turns to gold so there's a lot of things that are brewing and there's a lot of um, new energy coming in that's kind of bringing up a new project new emotions so this could also be a time where you need to just sit and kind of brew in these emotions which kind of sounds really crappy but it's also like you need that for yourself so we've got the two of wands which is kind of making decisions looking out at the possibilities and the three of pentacles so yeah i definitely feel like you need to consult somebody else as i say there could be a f like somebody you've kind of had an argument with or somebody or kind of feel like on edge i feel like you need to go 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 i'm feeling like someone's sitting on the edge of like a cliff or kind of like an edge of a situation they're kind of like go 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 and they're kind of like you know when like a kid um is learning to swim and they're sitting on the edge of a swimming pool and they're waiting to jump in but they're kind of like oh i don't know i don't know and they're kind of pushing their body but they're not actually jumping in i'm feeling like this is the energy you're in right now it's like it's not time yet to really go forward fully but it will be very, very soon. Look at the possibilities, analyze, kind of sit back and look instead of really going for it yet. But I definitely feel like you could um, be in a really good situation at the end of this month if you're looking for work, love, life, jobs, that sort of thing. And also, yeah, consult somebody if you need that. If not, then please just take the time to be quiet and be zen and meditate, that sort of thing. And it's probably something you probably don't want to do because you want to be out there and kind of go, go, go. But they're telling me that all the good things are coming for you. It's like you don't need to agitate yourself with this kind of piercing energy and this kind of like tick, 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 tick. It's like just let let sit sit in that uncomfortable energy for now. So let's see what you have in your love life. Okay, so for your love life, I pulled a few cards because my battery died and I just did it while it was charging. So basically for your love life, I feel like there's true love here. Um, if it's somebody you're actually consulting now, 
this is true love this is somebody who you feel really comfortable around um if you're kind of on the verge i feel like there's like a side emotion to this so if you're kind of involved with somebody or you're kind of there's if you're single and there's somebody that you really love this is somebody who's going to really treat you well um the universe is telling me that you need to kick up your heels and kind of get out there and like because in like have fun like you don't have to get out there to have fun you can like do stuff at home but it's like i feel like you need to concentrate more on yourself right now i feel like you need to have more fun you need to be in the moment as well because i feel like as i say this is cultivating energy that you need to kind of strategize and kind of plan things before you actually go ahead and do them and i feel like this because you are going through a process right now we have the Four of Pentacles, Death, and the Ten of Swords. So there's this reconciliation energy I'm feeling. There could be somebody who's actually going to come back as well. So as I say, I feel like you kind of need to focus on yourself. There's so many energies that are coming up. There's so many messages coming through. So if this doesn't resonate, then just let it fly. But there's so many energies coming through. So, so if you are single, I feel like you're working on yourself very intensely. Also, if you're dating, the same thing applies. There's the death card. So it's like you're going through this really intense process and Aries got the death card too. So a lot of you fire signs, I think a lot of people in general are going through the death process at the moment. And once you're out of this, it's going to be really, really nice. I feel like there could be a bit of a dry spell when it comes to your love life because you're still going through these emotions. You're still going through some, I feel like, childhood trauma as well. With the four of pentacles, it's like clinging on to holding things tight to their chest and it's like you're kind of brewing in that energy at the moment you're brewing in your own kind of crap at the moment and i say crap because it's like past stuff so it's stuff that you're going to be letting go and i just want to see what's going to happen after sagittarius lets this go so we have the four of wands okay so there we go so basically what's going to happen is once you go through this your true love is going to come in really nice and you're going to be joined together and this relationship is going to going to flourish really really nicely it's all going to come through really really good for you guys and yeah nothing more i can say really it's all going to come for you really nicely there's a process you're going through right now but it's okay keep going through it you guys are doing really really well i'm giving you all my love because i know how difficult the death card can be being a scorpio transformation is not easy but it's so worth it and you guys are doing really really well so keep doing what you're doing so I'm just going to pull a card for your financial career. Wow, all the cards are coming out at me. <laughs> career and finance situation. What's going on for Sagittarius in their financial situation? Wow, this one really flipped out. So we've got miracle healing. And financial fly. Well, that just kind of sums it up, doesn't it, really? And we got morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So... I definitely feel like you guys are really manifesting a new new job, a new partner, that kind of deal. But if you're kind of stuck at the moment, um, there is financial flow. I feel like a lot of you actually are doing really well in your money. And if you're not, I feel like positive affirmations are going to be really good for you if you haven't been doing that already. So we have the sun card. So there's a lot of good stuff going on with your finance. Um, it's all coming from the 5D into the 3D. So if you're currently in the middle of a position where you're kind of like, I don't know where to go in my financial situation... The, um, the energy is being brought down to the 3D. So by the end of this month, I reckon that it's going to be a new opportunity for you guys. Very, as I say, very similar to the Aries reading. And you guys are kind of healing yourself as well. So this is going to be really, really important to your career. Is just to keep focusing on your healing and your past wounds. Because you don't want them to kind of come back up. And it to affect your finance especially. Because this is something that's going to really affect you in your life if you don't get it sorted um and i feel like you are delving into those emotions now and it's bringing up a lot of good stuff for you in your finance there's not really much to say all of it's really really good really focus on what you want the future to bring for you what do you really want like what what job do you really want what is actually going to bring you a lot of happiness and if you're struggling right now that's okay just be in that middle period it's okay not to know it's okay to just kind of be in the middle i know that's hard for sagittarius especially because especially because you guys want to just keep going forward 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 and this, as i say this is a definite time to reel that back and kind of focus on sitting and being in this period of being in the middle which is fine so sending you lots of love thank you for watching if this resonated with you please comment down below please subscribe i love you so so much and i'll see you all very soon bye